Punk, how's it feeling today? It affected you against Dallas the other night. Well, you know, it's feeling, it's feeling okay right now. I mean, it's a little sore, it's a little tight, but it's a big game, and I'm pretty excited about it, so it feels okay. Happy to play on Christmas. What did you get for Christmas? Well, I got a nice little shipment from Adidas. I got my, yeah, my platinum sneakers on today, so, you know, I'm going to be wearing them. I'm, he's going to be coming down in January, February, so, you know, it's a nice little gift from them. New shoes. Well, what are you going to give for Christmas? Hopefully a nice little game, uh, 30 maybe or something. But as long as, you know, I like to win the game by about 20, 30 points. All right, Kobe. It's important and a nice little message on Christmas. Message is always important, isn't it? Absolutely. All right, Kobe. Merry Christmas to you. Thanks. Mark back over. Look at the starting lineup for the Portland Trailblazers up front. Rasheed Wallace, Sarvita Sabonis, and Scotty Pippen. In the backcourt, Damon Stoudemire, who has had an excellent season, and Steve Smith. And for the Lakers, who have won five in a row, four of those five on the road, Boris Grant with Shaquille O'Neal and Rick Fox. Rick Fox picking it up recently, had a 15-point, 12-rebound game against Dallas on Friday night. The backcourt, the veteran Rod Hopper, along with the NBA's leading scorer, Kobe Bryant. Just to need to exercise that feeling of what happened here last year, and they can do it, as Jim said, today. Jess Kersey, Michael Smith, and Rodney Mott are the officials. And it's controlled by the Blazers. Mark, the game plan with Portland has always been you start the game out by posting up Rasheed Wallace or try to get Steve Smith a jump shot. Sabonis, Pippen. Wallace posting on Grant. Grant with the steal and deflects it out of bounds. It will be Portland ball. Rasheed Wallace is so long in there, it's tough. Now, Horace Grant is an excellent defender. They will not double-team the Lakers. They will force Rasheed Wallace to play one-on-one. -on -one. He took 10 of the first 16 shots the last time these two teams got together, so they will go to him early and often. Nice pass, Smith. Try to go glass. Shaquille O'Neal with the rebound, and Shaq has been playing hurt. Achilles injury, an ankle injury, a, a shoulder injury. Did show some of the normal ferocity that we're accustomed to seeing in the last game against Dallas. And here's O'Neal getting inside. Well, when we talked to Phil Jackson today, he said, look, we're still a team that's got to pound the ball inside to Shaquille O'Neal. I don't mind Kobe going into the open court, but our essence is still pounded in the post. Stoudemire played by Bryant. Here's Wallace over Harper, who switched off. He has such a soft shooting touch. The only other big man that I can think of but that kind of shooting touch in the lane was Bob McAdoo. You know, that little medium-range shot that is so difficult to make, Marv. Bob McAdoo, Hall of Famer. Buffalo Braves, these Los Angeles Lakers, New York Knicks. Uh, here's Kobe with the fadeaway. You can see that Stoudemire is starting on Kobe. Kobe will play him, so Scottie Pippen will be roaming defensively that time. Kobe got the shot off before the defense could get back there in the double team. Kobe Bryant has been on a tear, including that 20 for 26 game recently against the Houston Rockets. Phil Jackson saying it was Michael Jordan. -esque. Shot. Wild hook shot by Sabonis, but kept alive. Stoudemire. And Sabonis uncontested, but a foul is called. Away from the basket so the double team can get there. He's also their best shooting big man, so that Shaq just cannot lay in the lane and play basically his own defense. Game tied at four. We are just underway. Two minutes gone by. This is the third of four meetings between these two clubs. They split the previous two. Beautiful pass from Bryant. Miscommunication that time. Scottie Pippen and Rasheed Wallace both went to double team. And Kobe Bryant is an unselfish player, and he found the open man. Lakers with a two-point lead. Stoudemire directing traffic. Sabota setting the pick. And Stoudemire able to hit. He has really played well this year. And I think a lot of it, Marv, is the fact that Greg Anthony has been hurt. Stoudemire knows he's going to play and hasn't really been looking over his shoulder as much going into that fourth quarter. Here's Hopper for three. And Scotty Pippen, who had his best game of the season in the second meeting against the Lakers, backing his way and then kicks it out. Sabonis, who has the good touch from outside. Back comes Bryant, checking the floor. Here's Fox, stopped by Smith. And Sabonis able to knock it away. 
shot selection. Both players, though, say it's not accurate. Then the story came out, Doug, regarding the, the hand signals from, from Shaq indicating don't give Kobe the ball. Both deny that is true. And a foul is called, so Shaq will head to the line. Well, Mark, you and I were talking yesterday, and I said, you know what, imagine if you put Will Chamberlain in his prime and Michael Jordan in his prime and said, you two guys are going to play on the same team. you got the most dominant low post guy, the most dominant perimeter guy. Inevitably, there's going to be some conflict. But when it all comes down to it, Shaq and Kobe are both intelligent number one. They're very, very talented, and they both want to win. They will work it out. Well... Shaq hitting on his first as you check out the number of field goal attempts taken this season by both Shaq and Kobe. Well, Kobe's shots are up about six a game. He's playing a little over two more minutes. And you also have to remember now, they don't have the third score. Glenn Rice gave them 16 points a game last year. As Shaq steps up and makes his free throws, he looks over to me and he said, I will make them when it counts. When I spoke to him yesterday, and he gave me the little evil eye there. Yes, he did. He's a 38% free throw shooter coming in. Stoudemire. Wallace able to retrieve and fires it to the crowd. Back to the subject of the alleged hand signals. I, I think even if it were true, that would be impossible oh, to yeah. pull off on a on a regular basis, although it's a nice story. Oh, yeah, and, and, and Kobe said, you know what, I found out that the better we get, the more stories there are. He said, I take it as a compliment. So he understands. He's so mature for 22. Bill Jackson also seems to be taking the approach. Hey, let them work it out on the court. Bryant try to get it to O'Neal. Fox off the recovery, and Wallace with the rebound. This is where Portland has to do. They have to get some scores just like this before Portland, before the Lakers get their defense set. Lakers lead eight to six. Four minutes gone by. Harper not able to handle that pass and try to throw it back the other way. And the Blazers down court in a hurry. Scotty Pippen showing lots of energy here. Able to accelerate. Foul called on, on O'Neal. We were talking with Phil Jackson earlier. He said one of his concerns is that you know, Mike Dunleavy has pulled back. He, he seemed to let the guys play more in the, uh, the last outing against Washington. And Phil said sometimes... Blazers can be more effective when Pippen is, is running the offense, running the show. Well, I agree with that, and I think what's also happened is Mike has recognized that, but you know what? Scotty was not right to start this season. Early in the year, he was a little bit distracted. His wife had a baby, and he was very, you know, much concerned about that and his child. Then he comes to the camp. He really was not into it like he was the previous year. Tweaks an ankle early, has a few injuries, starting to get the passion back. And last year, when he attacked on both ends of the floor, he made them a very tough team. Lakers up by one. Now Shaq, as he goes into his spin, he's the illegal defensive call against Portland by, <laughs> by Shaquille. And here's Shaq beating the double. Sabonis played him well, able to rebound. Well, see, Sabonis is big enough, Mark, to just stay up there big and stay strong. He's not going to block his shot, but you saw him make uh, Shaquille take it to the other side of the rim. And so that's what they want uh, Sabonis to be able to do. He's not going to block any shots. Foul called away from the ball on Horace Grant. One, Pippen for Stoudemire, but Fox cut him off. Wallace able to spin his way. And great recognition by Scottie Pippen. He had the three. He looked inside, saw the mismatch, and got it into his star, Wallace, with a powerful finish. Game is tied at 11. Rasheed Wallace is three for three from the field. Fox's pass broken up. Able to recapture. Shoots the three and hits. So he's two for three from beyond the three-point line. Oh, confidence is a beautiful thing, isn't it? Lakers lead at 14-11. Stoudemire again way off, but it's fielded by Pippen. Sabonis. And another Portland possession. Stoudemire for Wallace. Yes. What a touch. 15-footer, 10-footer, power spin in the lane, dunks. We've seen four different moves by him already in this first period. Sheen Wallace has emerged as the Blazers' go-to guy. Blocking foul is called. 
is on Pippen. And a timeout has been called by the Lakers. Said about the Hackershack philosophy. Uh, you can't blame the Dallas Mavericks. No. I mean, Shaq went 10 for 20 at the line. He called it clown basketball, but hey. You got to do what you got to do to win. And I think the thing that he was also upset with, Marv, is we see Fox once again with the jump shot. That's a two. But Shaq had really struggled from the free throw line in Miami. He went to Dallas. I think it was in a testy mood, and that just sort of set him off a little bit. But uh, it was what the doctor ordered for the Lakers. Dale Davis wide open. They'll give him that shot. Here comes Kobe. Rick Fox leading the way with eight points. He's open again. Steps back to shoot the three. I have felt all along that Rick Fox should average 12, 13 points a game. If he will make open shots, he will give them a third double-figure score. 11 for Fox. He's hit three from downtown. Lakers lead 21-13, just under four remaining in this first quarter. Bonzi Wells with the open opportunity. We normally see Bonzi Wells down on that post making those post-up moves. That time he steps out, hits a little jumper. That'll open up his game. Bonzi in his third season at Ball State. Very explosive scorer. Now Dale Davis defending on Shaquille O'Neal. And it's one-on-one -on -one coverage. Pippen providing a hint he was coming and then held back. But see, there's no, nothing Dale Davis can do. He's not big enough. I mean, you see that just a little bump there, and he was knocked on his heels, and Shaq just went out for the rhythm. That's why they need Sabonis out there so badly. And also watch him defensively here now, Marv. He will just roam around. He will not respect Dale Davis's jump shot. So Shaq now is going to be a team defender. Foul was called on Grant, his Chicago Bulls, who are head coach of the Bulls. And... and I heard the story yesterday for the first time. I can't believe the pressure that you put on those two guys. They appeared at show and tell for your daughter, Kelly. Absolutely. Oh, that is embarrassing. I talked to Kelly today about it. She said, and also remind Horace, he said his favorite food was macaroni and cheese. So she did not forget. Kobe Bryant with his second bucket. Show and tell. All about playing time, Mark, with young guys. You know that. Wallace from deep. And the ball will go back to the Lakers. So the Lakers lead by nine. The Blazers will talk it all. Something to do with it. Hurt the uh, shoulder while as Fox fires away once again from long range. Hurt the shoulder while completing a tomahawk dunk. I never had that problem. <laughs> yes. Marv, I might have hurt mine on a finger roll. But... Lakers 25 and the Blazers 16 as we come up on two minutes remaining in this opening quarter. Wallace now working on Ori. Rashid Wallace with 11. Great extension. Didn't bring the ball down. Came right into his shot. You can't defend that. And J.R. Ryder has checked in for the first time along with Greg Foster. Ryder still working himself into the intricacies of the triangle offense. Foul is called on Ori. When we talked to Phil, he said, you know, I hope that, you know, J.R. Ryder, Isaiah Ryder will be ready, you know, January, February. We hope he starts getting the field because we know the guy can score. But he's playing in a system right now where you don't do a lot of dribbling. It's a lot of passing, reading, and cutting. His game has always been post-up, isolation, do it off the dribble. Right now, he's thinking so much, it's very hard for him to be effective. But if he can grasp this, he could give them a big shot in the arm come playoffs. Since our matchup problems, we would see Shaq deep in the lane, and they'll get stagnant. Now, Marv, they start shooting a lot of jump shots. That's when they get themselves in trouble. That's why I think they need to be able to look for some early offense. And when Shaq catches it in there, it's just too late. Adventures at the uh, free throw line. And inside is what Michael Jordan might be up to do with the Wizards. That's MSNBCSports.com, the official website of NBC Sports. And Dale Davis was called for that foul. Now, this should never happen. Anytime Shaquille is at the free throw line, the first thing you should do is we've got to block out. There's a great chance that he's going to miss and Dale Davis fell asleep there he normally he doesn't do that Rick Fox beats him to the uh, to the ball and he's going to get two free throws so Marvin when, when Shaq is shooting free throws you have got to think defensive rebound and you look at him he looks like he's about 20 pounds lighter than last year he's much more mobile much more effective and as Smith sets up 
illegal defense call for the first time against the Lakers. Well, this is a team that still misses that outside presence that Glenn Rice provided. Smith coming up short and Wells able to put it down. Just the mere fact that teams would have to honor the shot. Absolutely right, Marv. If he stood out in the parking lot, someone would score with him. <laughs> Kobe Bryant off the spin, but he's been off. Bonzi Wells setting it up for Scotty Pippen, but uh, Kobe Bryant and Robert Ory are right there. Here's Smith. shot an air ball. See, he doesn't get phased by that stuff, Mark. He comes right back. That's the kind of confidence that he has. Final seconds of the first. Pippen did not realize it. Time has run out. Standing ovation for Kobe Bryant and the Los Angeles Lakers. After one here at Staples, it's the Lakers 30 and the Blazers 21. One more look at Kobe. Three field goals, six points in this opening quarter. Rick Fox leading the way with 13. Rasheed Wallace has 11. After one, it's the Lakers by nine. Back with the second quarter in a moment. Fouls. Here's Shaq. Good box out by Wallace and Sean Kemp on the floor for the first time. Kemp with Sabonis and Wallace a very long front line. Yeah, actually, Rasheed Wallace is playing at the small forward position now. Stoudemire and Wells in the backcourt, and Kemp opens up by hitting on his first. Now, that's what he can do. He can step out on the floor. You know, really, Marv, he doesn't have that lift in his game where he can play around the rim as much, but he can shoot the ball. Bryant, one back, it counts, and the foul. So Kobe took a few moments to warm it up, and uh, that's eight points, fouled by Bonzi Wells. Feeding it to the basket. You had an interesting conversation with Phil Jackson uh, prior to the game. He said, Phil, having Shaquille O'Neal and Kobe Bryant is similar to a coach having Wilt Chamberlain and Michael <laughs> Jordan on the same team. He did not disagree with you. Well, and, and he also knows how blessed he is to have that kind of talent. And he's a perfect coach for these guys because he's not a micromanager. Let's them flounder a little bit, and then they need him, and then they become a captive audience to listen to him. Yes, he does have the luxury as uh, Stoudemire is able to break down and uh, hit on the, on the drive. He has the luxury of being able to play games within the game. We saw it the other night of watching the, uh, the Laker game against actually the earlier meeting with uh, Portland. Mike Penberth, he was struggling at the defensive end, although he was hitting a shot. He kept him in because right. he felt he'd get the experience for down the road going like, up against Stoudemire. You know, work it out yourself, guys. I don't want to have to be the guy working out all the problems. When you have seven championship rings, you got that kind of security. Plus has checked in now, for the first time. Now, Marv, let's see if Stoudemire oh, goes right at yes, him. Yes, he did. But they swing it back. Here's Kemp. Kemp now taking it to the basket and racked up pretty good by O'Neal. Ryder raising his hand, but... You know, this is a real, I think, a tough situation for a coach, Marv, that, that Sean Kemp comes in, and he comes in at over 300 pounds. He's a guy who comes in to trade. He's got a big salary. You know that once you trade for him, that he's going to be on your team. He comes in, and it takes him about half the season to get himself in shape, and you have to try to put him out there, play him, when he's not physically ready to play. Puts his team and his coach in a very, very difficult situation. Everybody talks about that his contributions will be in the playoffs but he has to continue to work very, very hard off the court because he's not getting the minutes right now to stay in shape. So we'll have to watch what happens with Kemp, but they need him, but they need him to be productive. Wade has always been the problem with uh, Sean, struggled with it through three years with the uh, Cleveland Cavaliers. O'Neal is called for steps. 41%. He's got to shoot at 47, 48% for his team because he shoot a lot of jump shots. Six point, Laker lead. Rashid Wallace. Wells missed the tip. And the pass was deflected out of bounds by Wells, who nearly landed in our laps. It's Mike Penberthy, who has provided the outside touch. What a story this guy is after playing in, in Europe, playing in the CBA, LA Summer League, making the Lakers this season. 
Ori for three. Robert Ori, who at one point in his career, primarily as a member of the Houston Rockets, was deadly from three-point range. Well, you know, he sort of settled in as he was traded to being sort of a role player. He sees himself as a role player right now. I think he has much more than that. And we've seen him for the Lakers make big baskets, especially in game seven. He had a huge basket when the Lakers were coming from 15 down. Wallace gets the step. It counts, and the foul. What a move by Rasheed Wallace, able to extend as Horace Grant switched off, try to help the three-point play. 14 for Rasheed, and it's a 36-30 Laker lead. Lakers doing it from downtown. They've hit four of eight. Nice entry pass from Ori, but O'Neal not able to convert. Here comes Wells, fouled by Ryder. Here comes Kobe, and a foul is called. That won't count. The follow put home by Fox. Kobe Bryant will go to the line. So they're going to have to beat up on the Eastern Conference. I think they're going to win the West. That's why I'm talking to some of the uh, Portland Blazers. They, Blazers, uh, they feel that they're actually better than they were a year ago, even though the record does not reflect it. That will not count. Foul is called before the shot. It's on. on. Pemberthy open for three. Oh, O'Neal steals the rebound and hits. Portland has to come up with that rebound. You cannot allow Shaq second shot opportunity. The Lakers with a 41-32 lead. 6.50 remaining in the first half. Marv Albert, Doug Collins, Jim Gray from Los Angeles. So not a good shot by Sabonis, and he's upset with himself. Very reluctant yeah. shooter. He's a better shooter than that. Ori given the room. Give and go did not work. Stoudemire able to save it. That was a great play by Stoudemire. Read that play all the way. Whoa, crowd wanted a turnover. As Stoudemire lost the dribble momentarily. And then wow. Wallace with two more. He has 16. This guy is so graceful. He's such a fun player to watch play. You know, so much is on his technicals and the, the temper and the things that he does to sort of short circuit. But uh, he is a spectacular player. They doubled up momentarily on O'Neal. Here's Shaq to the fadeaway, and you can see he is beginning to feel it. 15 for O'Neal. <laughs> he just uh, looked over and said they can't stop him. All right? Shaq's having some fun. You know what? Which tells me he's feeling better physically. Marvin, when you don't feel well and it hurts to play, a lot of that joy of the game is gone. Shaw Kemp. Well, he's hit uh, two from outside. And the Lakers now lead 43-36. Portland's a good defensive team, but right now they're looking at a very high-scoring game. Kobe set it up with the crossover and threw the foul. Jack, or see that much of him. He also gave him a Rolex uh, wristwatch, and he wasn't, wasn't even part of the championship team. So Shaq, a very generous guy, really made him feel at home soon. Yes, Mike Pember, they used the uh, word gracious regarding uh, Shaquille O'Neal. That is very encouraging. Off the steal. Here comes Bryant. Bryant and Penberthy at the guards. Penberthy gives it back. Fox up front with O'Neal and Ori. Ori was wide open. They did not see him. Here comes Stoudemire. And a foul committed by Ori. Your season in college. I, I did not have nearly as good a senior year, and I was mentally fatigued, no question. And I was only a college guy not playing 82 games, so I respect really what he's feeling right now. Six point, Laker lead. Shaq able to feel that pass and draws the foul. Sean Kemp is saying three seconds in the lane. I think he's got a point there. Shaq got in there, deep, never left back in the trunk and he drove down to Watts which is a, a, a area here in Los Angeles where there are a lot of underprivileged children and he gave away a half million dollars worth of toys it was like Santa had come to town everybody was following the truck he dropped them off on their front lines lawns he got out and started playing with these kids giving them all toys and he says it was all good stuff PlayStation 2s CDs DVDs he says it wasn't cheap little stuff that you go and get to the store a half a million dollars worth and he didn't want anybody really to know this. He did this all on his own, and it was just a real big thrill for all those kids, aside that you don't see about Shaq, as Doug was saying. 
Mark. All right, thank you, Jim. And now no one will be aware of this. <laughs> Jim, disclosing the charitable tendencies of Shaquille O'Neal. But what a gesture uh, by Shaq. 345 remaining in this first half. Lakers up 45-41. Oh, Shaquille puts it down. The Blazers are working so hard to get themselves back in the game. Marv, we saw so often last year with the Lakers, the end of a half, the end of a quarter, they make a little spurt. Right now, the Blazers really have to dig in and stay in this game. Stoudemire for Kemp. And Sean Kemp has had a beautiful touch. He now has eight points. The importance of the big man being able to shoot the ball guarded by Shaq. Shaq has to come out. Now Rasheed Wallace can post. Kobe getting the crowd going. Won't count. Whistle before the shot attempt. Three to go, first half. Here's Kemp. Crowd was looking for a travel. Sean Kemp has been on fire. Ten points. He's hit four for four from the field. So the Lakers now lead 51-45. The alley -oop. Explosive. 21 for O'Neal. Stottlemyre able to beat Penberthy off the dribble. Meanwhile, the Blazers are still within six points. Lakers creating the excitement, but it's only a six-point game. Penberthy for Ori. They swing it. Here's O'Neal. Getting terrific position. He's unstoppable at the... Uh, at that spot on the floor. Mark, you did the first game they played when Sabonis did not play. At 36 points, forwards can't play him. They, they're just not big enough. He was overwhelming in that game. Smith is stripped from behind by Penderby. Lazer got back and a foul is called. He affected him and he wanted to show that he can do other things. Or did the game just happen to turn out in that manner that he... He was not forcing shots. I, I think Kobe is so good that he can do that. He can get everybody else involved and know that when he wants to score, he can do that. Here's Steve Smith, who's been quiet. He had gone 15 minutes without a point. That's his first field goal. And a foul is called. He was so good in the Western Conference Finals last year. High screen roll when Kobe played him, got him down in the post, got Kobe in foul trouble, was such a significant part of that series. They really need him to play well. He's their best perimeter shooter. 50. David Stoudemire being played by Mike Penberthy. Rasheed Wallace setting the screen, but Smith way off. Here's Fox for three. Rush shot that time. Yeah. Sometimes you feel it so much, you have to just take one more just to see if it's there. Now Kemp being played by Foster. Here's Pippen from downtown. Scotty Pippen with his first field goal. Now he doesn't need necessarily to score, but he's got to be aggressive. Lakers shooting 54%. In this first half, 20 of 37 from the floor. Penberthy open. Oh, the three blocked by Wallace. And get a two for one here, Marv. They could cut this down real quickly. Wallace. Or he fell down, or he felt he was pushed. And the Blazers able to take advantage. They're within four. Five quick points here. They get a stop and a score, and it's a two-point game. So as spectacular as the Lakers have been, Portland would be right there. Yes, the Lakers have been a high wire act here in this first half. They've shot the ball so well, but with 10 seconds remaining in the half, they, they show only a four-point lead. Kobe Bryant going last. Five seconds to go in the half. And off the inbounds, just Kersey blowing his whistle. And I would be surprised to see Pippen really try to attack anybody helps. He's got a couple three-point shooters out there in Smith, Stoudemire, maybe even Wallace stepping out. Five 
Five and four, ten seconds. Remaining of the half, Stoudemire. They tried to cut him off. They could not. Here's Stoudemire for Pippen for three. Well executed. But the Blazers not able to score. And at the half, it's the Lakers, 61. And the Blazers, 50, take the lead for the first time today. Kobe Bryant, yes, Lakers by one. Kobe has hit six of nine, he has 17. And you mentioned right at, at the start that you felt the Lakers had no answer for Rasheed Wallace, and that has certainly been the case. Now, Horace Grant defending on Rasheed. Well, if he takes his time, he can get that little bank shot off the glass, which is his little pet move, a lot like Tim Duncan. He loves to use the glass, especially from that side of the floor. A great patience, Mark. You know, he's upset with himself. He scored. He has 26. He didn't like the feel of that <laughs> shot, the way it went off the glass. Illegal defense. Illegal defense called for the second time. It's a violation and a technical foul. See, I love it. It's, it's a great inside little reverse turn. You turn and you face the defender. You keep the ball high. And it's like, you know, I don't, I don't want to take that. That didn't go through cleanly enough. <laughs> Stoudemire playing with so much confidence. They double up now on Wallace. Sabonis passed on the shot. Goes for the driving hook. Got himself in trouble there. Passed away a good shot and took a tough one. Foul is called. Wallace tried to put the brakes on. This is where he's got to get away right here. That's his 15th technical of the season, Marv. Leads the league, and we've talked about it before. He's having such a great game, he cannot let this distract him. And how often we have seen this occur, in particular with this ball club. They had nine technical fouls called in a recent game. We see him right there. He just sort of waves his hand at the officials. And you know what, Marv, in fairness, that's not a real big show up by him. But you know what? He has the reputation of getting technicals. And when that happens, referees are going to be more inclined to give it to him. You can see now that's his 16th technical of the season. And led by Rasheed Wallace, the Portland Trailblazers, well in front in the technical foul department. Timeout is called. 5.34 remaining. <laughs> Later in the Collins household. But we always appreciate the extra viewers. That's a, uh, a rare television visit to Vancouver. Here's Kobe Bryant. Damon Stoudemire, Lakers getting back quickly. Stoudemire for the crossover. Sabonis goes behind the back to Smith. Nice ball movement. Let's see if they can cash in. No. Harper. And Bryant met by Pippen. O'Neal, oh, rejected, but it will count as a goal, Tan. Called on Wallace. You know, as we watch Stoudemire have such a great game here today, one of the things, Mark, we haven't spoken about is Derek Fisher, who's been injured as we see this little goal, Tan, by Wallace. But Derek Fisher usually does a terrific job on Stoudemire. We saw it in the playoffs. He's been out with a broken foot. They expect him back maybe January, February. But they really miss him against Portland and playing against Stoudemire. And as you mentioned earlier, David Stoudemire playing with so much more confidence because he knows he will remain on the floor. Nice look. Pippen from Wallace. And the Blazers are within one point. Greg Anthony has been uh, playing hurt with uh, injuries to both ankles, making it back. It's been a slow process. Uh, he has been getting playing time, but... In the past, we've seen quite a bit of Greg Anthony down the stretch in the fourth quarter. That has not been the case for the most part this season. Well, when, when da Damon Stoudemire has come out of the games, Mike has really gone to a bigger backcourt with Bonzi Wells. Shot clock at five. Ori for three. That's his second three-pointer. Lakers lead 76-72. He hits timely shots. defense from the crowd here in Los Angeles. 
Wallace working hard against Ori, and the foul is called. Lakers have a four-point lead. Two minutes and 45 seconds to go in the third. Here's Stoudemire. Lakers trying to make it six straight wins. They come in at 20 and nine. They're second in the Pacific, a half game behind Sacramento. Game and a half in front of Portland. Ori for three. Looked like Wallace got a piece of it. That comes Wells. Good fronting job by Ori. And a foul is called. Light pressure being shown by Wells. And a palming violation called on Ryder. It'll be very interesting. You made a point when Isaiah Ryder was taken out of the game early that he really was not happy. Let's watch as he brings this ball up the floor. They're going to call him for turning the ball over right there. It'll be interesting to see how much Phil lives with this today right now. Isaiah Ryder not into this game here today. Reach in foul against the Lakers. And we're seeing the, the palming call more and more frequently this season. Foul is on Ryder, his second. Lakers over the foul. For his own shot a lot. Today we've seen him take another step. He's got his other uh, players involved. Eight assists, no turnovers. He's getting his shot, so he's doing a better job combining both of the talents. Lakers have a one-point lead. Ryder slicing his way through, and it hits. Lakers extend to a three-point lead, and for Ryder, his first field goal. And at 35, left in the third, and a palming violation against Stoudemire. Now that came from Phil Jackson because when they called it on Ryder, he said, you call it on Stoudemire. He's been doing it the whole game. The next time down the floor, he calls it. So give that one to Phil Jackson. Just with the ball down by just two. 40 seconds left in the third. A lot of whistles here in the third quarter. And that's why they're trailing in this game. And the pace has fallen off here in the third quarter. Electrifying first half. Hopper and a foul. As I mentioned, many whistles, and that's one of the reasons that the tempo has, has changed. This one on Stoudemire, that is his second. Well, the Lakers were in such a great rhythm offensively in that first half. 46 points by Fox and uh, Kobe and Shaq. It's not been the case. They had two 30-point periods. Right now, they're sitting on 18 points in this quarter, so the defense by Portland much better. Reminder, Saturday at 7 Eastern Time, right here on NBC. More NBA action. Most of you will see the Philadelphia 76ers go up against Chris Webber and the Sacramento Kings from Arco in Sacramento. Others will see the New York Knicks and the Minnesota T-Wolves or the San Antonio Spurs take on the Indiana Pacers. Check your local listings for the game in your area, Saturday at 7 Eastern. Marv, you and I'll be in Sacramento. What a great basketball environment, and the Kings are playing terrific basketball this year. Defensively, they are much better. And the question uh, remains, will Allen Iverson, who claims that he's going to make it back from the shoulder injury, will he be available? Time running down in this third quarter, and Kemp is fouled. Now that's 17 fouls that have been called in this third quarter. Ron Harper taking a seat. <laughs> Little respite for Ron likes to chat with the fans during the course of the game. Well, he's such an important part of this team. He's the intangibles, the professionalism he brings, and what a big shot he hit in game three in Portland, the series at 1-1. He hits the jumper to give them a 2-1 series lead. And Lakers go on and win in seven, but what a big jump shot. What a, he's a real pro, Ron Harper. Two and five, ten seconds <laughs> remaining in this third quarter. Apparently no more room on the Laker bench. So uh, Ron mingling, mingling with the crowd. And now... We'll sit down on the bench if he can find some room as Mike Penberthy has checked back in. Eighty-one eighty. The Laker lead is one. Two point five to go in the third. Bryant with the catch and shoot. 
so we played three quarters at Staples. It's the Los Angeles to take the lead. Interestingly enough, Phil Jackson going with Penberthy. Can Stoudemire take advantage of that? Michael Penberthy coming on for J.R. Ryder, and Stoudemire does hit over Penberthy. 17 for Stoudemire. The Blazers, 91. The Lakers, 89. A rookie out of the Masters College, Mike Penberthy, on the floor here down the stretch. Shaw, not able to hit, but a foul is called. Blazers tied at 91. Six minutes remaining in the fourth. Marv Albert, Doug Collins, Jim Gray from Los Angeles. Second of our Christmas Day doubleheader. Earlier, Indiana over Orlando. Off the steal. Grant looking for someone. And Penberthy will bring it up. Coming up next on NBC, except on the West Coast, NBC will present one of America's most beloved Christmas films. It's a wonderful life and a wonderful role for Shaquille O'Neal, who threw the foul and will go to the line. Well, Scotty Pippen is going over to Sean Kemp and he's saying, look, if you have to take six fouls, this is one of the reasons why you got uh, are on this team. you got to take that foul. You cannot give him a three-point play opportunity. So Sean Kemp has got to force Shaquille O'Neal to shoot two free throws there. He's six of nine at the line. Oh, way off. That's why you can't give him a layup, Mark. You've got to foul him right now. Lakers 93, Blazers 91, five and a half to go in the fourth. Stoudemire doing it off the dribble. Here's Kemp, changed his mind, a good look. And a foul, Sean Kemp, who's had the hot hand from outside with the recognition down low leading to the foul. Yeah, they desperately needed that. He's four of seven from downtown. Lakers lead by four. Stoudemire, yes. David Stoudemire right back. Marv, you've been in this game a long time, and you know how important it is with confidence. Sometimes when a guy plays you, you just know you can score against him, and that's what Stoudemire feels like against Penn Berthy. That was the case in the last meeting in Portland 12 days ago. Here's Fox. Passed on the three to set it up for Penn Berthy. Portland ball trailing by two. For three. Yes. Scotty Pippen from downtown. And the Blazers lead by one. What a big shot by Scotty Pippen. I coached him as a rookie. I saw his first point. Today you see his 17,000 plus point. What a career. Under four remaining in the fourth. Fox putting the move on Pippen. And a foul is called. Blocking foul charged to Scotty Pippen. Damon Stoudemire off the high screen roll. You see him get his rhythm. Actually, Penberthy gets a hand in his face. It's just great offense by Stoudemire. And then we've seen this so often from Scotty Pippen when he played in Chicago at the most opportune time for his team. He rears back and shoots a big three to give his team the lead. And both teams are over the foul of it. Rick Fox to the line, 81%. Free throw shooter, five for five today. He has tied the game at 97. Rod Harper checks back in, replacing Mike Penberthy, who did not score. The Lakers are back to their starting lineup. Lakers and Blazers tied at 97. 345 remaining on the fourth. Stoudemire. Yes. What a stop. He was going so quickly, stopped on a dime, stepped back. At first team all defense, Kobe Bryant, and he did that too. 21 for Damon Stoudemire. Portland has a two-point lead. Here's Bryant. He lost the grip. And it's deflected out. Last touched by the Blazers. Marv, it's going to be very interesting now in the last 326 with fouls of situation. How many times will Shaquille O'Neal touch the ball? This is the time normally when Kobe starts to take over as they've changed their call here and said it's off Kobe Bryant. But how many times will Shaq touch the ball in a situation where they can foul him? He has attempted only four shots in this fourth quarter. Yes, the officials conferring and uh, made the change on that call. Here's Stoudemire. 
Hopper able to gather it in, and he thought he was fouled, and is hit with a technical foul. Had something to say to the official. Hopper was pulling away. Pippen was uh, accidentally pushed by one of his, his good <laughs> friends, Horace Grant. <laughs> Purely accidental, but Hopper, in a critical moment, was hit with a tee. What happened to that free-flowing game in the first half? A high-scoring game. The stakes are high now. You see, Harper just throw his elbow up. There really nobody around. It wasn't like he was clearing space or anything. There was five feet of space between he and the defender. David Stoudemire will shoot the technical. He's four of five from the line. The Blazers, who have trailed most of the way, down by as many as 10, now lead by three with 3.14 to go in the fourth quarter. I tell you, if I'm Mike Dunleavy, I'm saying right now to Sabonis, if Shaquille O'Neal catches that ball around the basket, absolutely do not let him get his arms up to take a shot. You've got to foul him. Absolutely no layups or dunks. Now the Lakers will talk it over with three minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. And a foul is called against the Blazers. Both teams are over the limit. Sabonis called for number five. Shaquille O'Neal in what probably will be a parade to the free throw line. Will shoot two. He's six of ten from the line. And remember his conversation with us yesterday, Marv. He said, when I have to, I'll make him. Well, you know what? He needs him right now. Yesterday, Marv. He said, when I have to, I'll make him. Well, you know what? He needs him right now. Well, Shaq keeps saying that, uh, you know, it's not about percentages, it's about winning, but uh, you have to hit these shots down the stretch. Well, absolutely, and you know what, Phil Jackson already this season, as we see Shaq with the second one, he missed them both, but Phil Jackson about three or four times this year has already taken him out of the games when he didn't last year. Just under three, remaining of the four, Portland with the ball up by four. Chant of defense from the crowd. Wallace checking the clock. Shot clock down to three. Here's Rasheed Wallace. And deflected out of bounds. Last touch by the Lakers. Rasheed Wallace had his eye on that shot clock. He waited to the last moment, so he almost milked 24 seconds. And then the Lakers not able to come up with the ball. So 20 more, 24 more seconds here for Portland on the shot clock. And the Blazers in no hurry. Again, Stoudemire playing the clock. 225 left to the fourth, 10 on the 24. Single coverage on Wallace. Rasheed Wallace with a clutch bucket. He has 33 points, and the Blazers lead by six. It's going to be a hack a shack here on Shaquille O'Neal. They fouled him. Remember now, the two minute mark. Anybody on the floor shoots the free throw, the Lakers get it back. So that basket was so important because it gives them a chance to get that foul in before the two-minute mark. To hit a free throw. Well, you see just how vital it is, Mark. You talked about it. You've got to be able to make those free throws. What frustration it must be for Shaquille O'Neal to do that. Sabonis not able to hit off the nice lead pass. Yes, Shaquille has missed his last five free throws. A minute 50 to go in the fourth. Here's Bryant. Kobe Bryant off the spin. And it's a four-point Portland lead. you got to go back to Rasheed Wallace. He's the guy right now. You've got to go back into him, let him take the time, and get something good. Stoudemire, again, using the clock, using the screen. Sabonis, big bucket for Arvidas Sabonis. Now, how about he just missed the layup, and then it's a big shot. That was a huge basket for Savonis. Portland up by six. Bryant. Shaquille knocks it out of bounds. And it will be Portland ball. The Lakers led by as many as ten. They put on a show in the first half. But the Blazers able to hang around down by only six at the half. And a superb second-half performance here by Portland. 
It will be Laker ball, last touch by the Blazers. I think they got one there. I think Kobe knocked that ball out. It looked like he knocked it out of bounds. Scotty hit it first, and then it went off Kobe. So big break that time for the Lakers. A six-point game. Portland 105, Los Angeles 99. Lakers just 6 of 19 from downtown. Kobe was looking for a foul call and got the call. He was tripped up. So that stops the clock. And Kobe Bryant to the free throw. Of seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. Started by out of control. Fox knocked it away, but a foul. It's a reach in. Reach in foul against the Lakers. See, not a good play by Kobe Bryant. They were going to get two possessions back. They're only down three. You don't need to foul there. Forced the, uh, the Blazers to come down and use some clock to get a basket. Now what you've done is you put a great free throw shooter on the line. He makes them both. You're now down five. So not a good play by Kobe, who's a first-team all-defensive player. You've got to stay away from that foul in the backcourt. Stoudemire, 6 of 7 at the line. Portland spending lots of time at the line. 27 for 40. Mike Penberthy will check back in. Comes on for Rod Hopper. Phil Jackson wants the three-point possibility from Penberthy. Lakers have a full timeout at a 20. Remaining Portland has two at a 20. We'll see what it also does. It forces somebody to stay with Penberthy so Kobe can go with go one on one. So you got great three point shooters out there. If you help, Kobe can find the shooter because you know he wants to go one on one here. Lasers up by four. Here's Bryant tossing it back out and a foul call. Vince, you got a possession to tie. The Lakers need a stop. Half minute to go in the fourth. Shadow defense, Stoudemire, Pippen, Stoudemire, passed on the three, Sabonis with the shot, the back top is played by Stoudemire, now the Lakers must foul, with 13 and 1 tenth second to go, the foul call, Portland was trying to call for a timeout, Mars, still a lot of time. I would expect the Lakers to try to get the ball back to Kobe as quickly as possible. Let him put the pressure on the defense. Try to get a quick two or maybe a foul to stop the clock. If they help, kick out to a three-point shooter. But if they get a quick two, take the foul and force Portland to make some free throws. Still a lot of game here. You don't need a quick three. Kobe Bryant will throw in from center court. They lay back. We're down to 10, and Bryant is going for the two, trying to draw the foul, and catch, but it's a knockout, a charging foul, offensive foul, and the Lakers are upset, Kobe Bryant on the charge, and he has fouled out. Well, he was definitely looked like out of that little dotted area, he stepped up. If he's in the dotted area, it's a block and a three-point play opportunity for a tie. So Rasheed Wallace, they said, was out of that little dotted area. He stepped down and he took the charge. Seven and four tenths seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. Pippen inbounds, Fox inbounds. Here's Ori, can't find it now, shoots the three, and that will wrap it. The Laker win streak ends at five. They go to 20 and 10. The Blazers now 19 and 10. The high point bet of the game, Rasheed Wallace with 33, David Stoudemire with 27, 32 for Shaquille O'Neal. Again, the final score, Blazers won.